Hello everyone and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Today it is part two of the MCES war with Patriot UA and this time we're going to be looking at the Queen Charge minor attacks from uh, MCES and how they do them and a couple of different styles as well. So here's the first style. We have the Quad Quake with the Queen Charge minor and the idea here is because there's only two layers of walls or two layers of defenses between the outside and the town hall he's going to break open that scattershot area with the quad quakes and get to the town hall with the queen charge as well as in the army you see uh, seven loons so this this is kind of a replacement for hogs but they're a lot easier to control and it makes a lot more sense to have them for outside defenses uh, keeping all the miners inside the base rather than to like bring them along with the miners so it makes them a bit more precise and uh, like more skilled I guess but it's more like it's a bit more there's a bit more utility in loons than just hog riders because loons have quite a bit of health and they do a lot more damage so he brings in the, so Hytron uh, brings in the Royal Champion to take care of the uh, Inferno Tower. So that helps the Queen out a little bit while she's hanging on, or uh, taking on the CC. With the ability she gets the Town Hall, not sure if she gets the Eagle Artillery too. But as you can see with the space, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's quite the, it's quite the rectangle, quite the L-shape. So these miners have a really good job, uh, a really good time just pathing around it. And with the help of the Warden, giving them some extra health, some extra HP, some extra... Um, some extra HP, they're going to take down the rest of the bases, uh, rest of the defenses. And he still has a couple of loons left over to take care of some outside defense, as he did with the Archer Tower and the Mortar on the outside there. And he's going to do that also with the uh, back-end Tesla farm. So there's quite a bit of utility in those loons. With the help of the freeze spell, these loons are going to be able to take down, take down those. And also, um, also tank for the cleanup. So he's left with like 20 miners up. Quite the attack for this base. So, pretty good. Next up is another Miner and Loon attack, except with a lot more Loons actually. 13 Loons on this attack. The reason for that is he expected and got a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of Air Mines. So that was a uh, quite the lucky thing there. He was able to get all those Air Mines. Um, so someone who wouldn't be uh, expecting that from a teaser base, be just a normal player that doesn't really play in Legend League or anything like that, or at least not High Legend League. High, Le high Legend League uh, teaser styles are very, very popular. Basically, every single base in a teaser style. Um, and usually the traps are on the outside, like that. So. Uh, 11 of the 13 loons were used just for that. Just to make sure that the Yeti Bomb actually got the Town Hall. So, yeah. Queen Charge has one wall breaker layer so far. And that is going to get the air defense in the middle that could hit his healers. But the next layer of wall breakers is going to go in for the Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower is also going to lead to the Eagle Artillery. And that's pretty important for a miner attack. Eagle can do quite a lot of damage to the miners. Freezing up the Inferno Tower, and the Queen is going to make her way down. So now there's a nice uh, rectangular path for the miners. And that's why he's going to go ahead and drop them. Freeze on the Queen, because Queen can like two-shot miners, I think. So he's got the Eagle in hand. Eagle's also targeting the Royal Champion, so that's important to know. That if you want to do this attack, 
having the Royal Champion up can actually help quite a lot because she can tank the Eagle. Now he's using the Royal or the Warden ability over the Scattershot when he could have, when he would have had to use it over the Miners in the beginning. But the Royal Champion was tanking the Eagle, so he didn't have to use it then. So he's a couple of back end loons, but that's not going to work out too well because he didn't quite get all the traps. But he's got like 15 miners up or something. It's quite good. Quite good. If you can plan attacks in. If you can plan these types of attacks in 30 seconds, you, you'll do really well in Legend League. So I think. Um, I've done a lot of hybrid in Legend League. Probably make a couple of videos on that. But um, I do want to try Queen Charge Miners just straight up like that. Um, next after hybrid. So here we go with Mechlink with the last uh, Queen Charge Miner attack. So it's using the loons for funnel this time. You get a couple of defenses at the top, so then the queen doesn't, you know, walk around over there. The Yeti Blimp does get the Inferno, and gets the Scattershot too, and gets the CC Lure. CC Lure is pretty important, but he did unfortunately have the uh, two Expos lock on. Probably didn't want that, probably only wanted one to lock onto the Queen. While this uh, CC kill is happening. So we're going to wait that out. Now the queen's walking away. But she could walk back for the queen. Probably will. Nope. Okay, so his plan was to get the uh, get the queen and a couple of other parts. A couple of other defenses in the middle. And then have the miners go sh just go uh, straight for the town hall. But instead the queen makes a bit of a jump. Well, that's fine. He still has the king working for him, and the queen's just going to help out, help out with the uh, cleanup. Also drops the royal champion with him, so he has all four heroes, like sort of on the outside of the base, working their way in. Miner's taking care of the middle portion, poison over the queen, but misses by quite uh, just a little bit. But she jumps back in anyway. So Royal Champion gets uh, takes care of the Eagle, and that's pretty important for this attack. But yeah, healers with the heroes, and probably like 15 miners up. That's gonna be definitely gonna be enough for the rest of the base. Hero minion for the back end cannon. It's gonna save a little bit of time, so then the troops don't have to go all the way over there. Miners do get quite uh, do get that inferno. So, no one has to go inside to take care of that. But yeah, that's going to be it for the minor attacks. So, a couple of different ways that they do this. They add a lot of extra loons to their armies. And they did a couple of extra attacks, as well as these uh, three. But I don't want to burn too many of their bases. And we're going to end up on this. So, with their minor attacks, they, just like anyone would... They go really uh, specifically for pathing. So pathing is extremely important for miners. They really like rectangular paths and they like L-shaped paths. So that's pretty important. Um, also for the Warden, they have the Royal Champion taking care of a couple of eagle, eagle shots. So it helps the miners a bit on the entry. A lot of times you'd have to use the Warden ability like before the miners even get into the base because that eagle's raining down. Which, I mean, it's still good value, but not as good as it could be. But now we have this uh, Yeti Smash Yeti Bomb. So the Yeti got uh, the single Inferno, I think it was. 
and then the queen's going to wake her way up to the top of the base. A couple of yetis making their pathway, and then he's going to drop all the rest onto that jump spell. Race spell getting into the base, and Warden Blady perfect. Warden Billy also gets one of the Seeking Air Mines. It's good value. So yeah, it's just going to make its way off to the rest of the base. It really depends on the Seeking Air Mine placements on these bases, or on these attacks. If those healers stay up, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion. But sometimes, sometimes you can get lucky without the healers, but you really do need those healers. Helps out quite a bit. So yeah, Queen Charge Miners, Queen Charge Hybrid, I'm I'm just not sure exactly what makes Hybrid better at this point. But it's a little bit of like not getting distracted, but as bases evolve, sometimes that sometimes hybrid just doesn't make any sense anymore as people figure out how to defend it. But miners are always going to be quite good. But it does take quite a bit of planning in order to find the correct the correct entry into base into a base to have the quick charge miner attack actually work out. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Ray's Gaming, and I'm out.